man. It's hot out here. <laughs> not hot, not really, but it's warmer. We took a long walk, me and the doggy, and uh, ended up here. I went to my healing tree, sat there for a bit. And now I really got to take this uh, top off, this hoodie off. In fact, this hoodie is not, just a second. Oh. Uh, hey, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Pattersons taking the trains to Tibet. In fact, you know, this hoodie is a... Uh, well, it's old now. I got it a while ago, a couple of years ago, whenever it came out. It, uh, you can't see the thing anymore. Well, it doesn't matter because it would have been backwards anyway. I got it because of a nice blue color. But uh, it's a foundational black American hoodie. You know, it had, uh, who did it have here? It's just a, like a, but you know, I know, I don't even remember who it had. I think I think it may have had Ida B. Wells on there. They, uh, maybe they had uh, Harry Tubman, right? Uh, I don't even know if they had, uh, uh, what's the name, the guy with the hair and all the rest of that stuff. Oh, uh, you know, the cat, the cat, you know, the, the Declaration of Independence, the, what does the, what does the, uh, the, uh, the 4th of July mean to me, guy? Uh, I know they had, um, what's the name on there? Um, uh, John Henry Clark, as well as, um, uh, you know, sister you know with the with the you know with the the the, the penis is a, is a weapon against the, the oppressor people kind of, you know what I mean that's why oppressor wants to get rid of us you know who I'm talking about if you don't know who I'm talking about then you are not whatever oh and under there look look what I'm wearing today I got the ADOS which is why I'm talking to you look Tuesday I was doing the thing on reparations whole history and Instagram cut me off. What? So this is part two. You know what I mean? So here, I'll, let me get to the, just the point that said they try to cut me off again. You know, there's a lot of organizations. Like I said, ADOS is the one that really brought it up to the fore and then people start reacting and jumping in and whatever have you. You can look into that history yourself. Uh, I've known them since uh, 2016, 15, something like that, you know. And before that, well, like I said, my bona fides is that I was doing well. I was back there with uh, uh, the Queen Mother Moore and all that stuff. When I say back, I mean, I, I wasn't hanging or whatever. I mean, I seen a couple of times, whatever, right on 116th Street, whatever it is, and, and, and around, right? But uh, I was showing a, a letter that I got, uh, uh, the postmark is 2002, because when I was on the air, I used to go, <laughs> as I was signing off, I had to finish, no, when I was, as I was signing off No More Radio, I would say, this is Anthony Reparation Sloan, right? Anyway, so, so I, I even think, because at that time, I was also doing, I was engineering for Democracy Now. So maybe, I don't know if, if, if Amy ever said, you know, in the closing credit, when they give the names, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if she ever said that Anthony Reparations. But anyway, just around that time period, because I had my little incident with the seed, somebody wrote a letter, they put Anthony Reparations Stone, WBI, blah, blah, blah. So I got bona fides in this thing, right? So when ADOS came along, I looked and I said, oh, this is interesting. Because uh, they was doing the, they, they 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 had another they was doing doing another approach right, but let me just say this now because there's so many groups out there now, the the, the you know there's uh, there's a lot of groups out here, a lot of people who, who came down on reparations now all of a sudden you know they want to jump and get on all these panels and stuff like that. Well, we won't get into that right now, uh, but let me put it this way, uh, I'm in Southern Africa right now. I'm in a village right there, but uh, but there's a there's a word a Shona word. Shona's that the people from, from uh, Zimbabwe, you know, Malawi, that, that area like that. So I think we should do language groups rather than uh, do uh, uh, nation states, called nation, whatever the, the, the colonizer drew up. You know, we should do language groups or group, groupings. I think language groupings is not. Anyway, we should do other kinds of groupings. Anyway, the Shona word is Chimaranga. C-H-I-M-U-R-E-N-G-A. I learned to say it that way because uh, that, that, that's the way uh, uh, Antonio, uh, Antonio, uh, and uh, that's the way, uh, 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 what's his name, Antonio from, uh, from Chimaranga. He runs Chimaranga magazine, it's a liberated magazine. It's a, it's a whole movement now. Uh, so it's Chimaranga. And he's one of the Pan-African Space Station. That's where I know him from. Anyway, that's not the point. Uh, so Chimaranga. Now the word, as they use it, as they use it, it's supposed to be, it, it means, uh, 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 revolutionary, uh, it's like, like it's a revolutionary term, you know, 
It means, uh, oh gosh, I didn't blank what it, what it means. Uh, uh, revolutionary struggle, I think that's what it means. Either way. But there's another, uh, there's another uh, uh, definition too. You know, have more than one definition. And it, it, uh, it, it basically means, uh, well, revolutionary, well, what did I say? Revolutionary, uh, yeah, revolutionary struggle. And then the other one that I know that I, well, uh, uh, let, let me put it this way. We're in, a st we're in a state right now, in a state of affairs right now, that it's a, it's a, it's a, people are struggling, you know, and it's, it's, it actually is a revolutionary struggle. Uh, whereas people are trying to fight to be the, the, the big hoo-ha or whatever it is, right? That, but that's part of it. That's part of this revolutionary struggle, you know, is uh, to weed out people, you know, to weed out people who that, that don't belong, you know, um, to weed out, uh, uh, um, to, to get to righteousness, to get to get to proper strategy and tactics. And sometimes you got to weed out these, you got to expose people. And that's... And just like Kat said, this this is the year we're coming near the, near, near the end of the year, but a lot of stuff is getting exposed, right? Uh, anyway, uh, so so we're in a time right now we can c continue where yeah, the, we the, sooner or later. In fact, I see it calm down because you know people they used to, especially ADOS and Foundation of Black Murder, they used to call each other names. And I noticed that it's kind of, you know the B1 Brigade, and they, they calm down a bit with that, calm down with it because everybody's now thinking, oh wait a second. You, you have your own, I won't say you have your own lane, but you have your own objectives and stuff like that, you know? So what should really be happening is, you know, you do you, you know? Like we was talking about uh, in Cobra, those are the people that, that they, 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 they like to rub el el elbows with, you know, with, with, the, with, the, with, the, uh, you know, with the academics and with the, with the politicians, and they think they get it get through that way, right? And uh, Foundation of Black America, they just, boop, boop, they beat up with everybody. Uh, uh, ADOS, American Descendants of Slavery, the institution, uh, they're more, they're, they're strategic, you know. Uh, they're, they're organizing in, in what I call nodes, you know. Uh, nodes, and, and each node, you know, has, has to be beholden or have the aim and the purpose of the, of, of the mother node, if you will. You know, think of it as a spider web, you know, and you have these, there's a spider web. One of the reasons why, and I remember with Southern Africa, especially in Southwest Africa, there's a spider. And... It, 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 uh, and the, all the spiders, they have these little nodes, and they make a really big web. Instead of one web, they make, make a really big web so they can get, catch bigger prey, then everybody can feast, you know? But of course, you have these uh, turtles and tentacles or whatever it is that are connected to each one. So if one thing is, is triggered, then they know that's what's going on, so they go, they, they can ad address it, you see? So, uh, in fact, this word nodes, I had this word for a long time, it's going to become more popular. You know, because that's how you really organize. You organize in nodes, and that way, is, think of it as cells, different cells. But they're, but they're, they're some, some, um, uh, some threads to their cells are, 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 are stronger than others. But either way, they all sort of like and vibrate together. You know, uh, I recently heard uh, Bricks, the Bricks people, they come out of a conference this year or something like that, and they use the word nodes. You know, and it's the best way because you can remain remain independent, but you have the purpose of catching the beast, <laughs> the, the feast, or whatever it is. So out of all the stuff that's being done, other academics doing their stuff, whatever have you, I sort of respect, I sort of, I do, I do respect uh, ADOS the most because that they have that model that, that I know will work, you know, and and they won't be fighting, well, they, you know, they won't be fighting against each other. Other people who want to fight, y'all can fight, you can struggle, revolutionary struggle, you know, you can you could do, 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 oh, revolutionary struggle, gather the words I'm saying, the struggle within, ah, that's the other definition, the struggle within is the second death, the revolutionary struggle is the big, is the big, uh, the big thing, but then you have the struggle within, because to, to get to the revolutionary struggle, you have to, you have to struggle and weed out and, 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 and call to account, you know, people who are attaching themselves to you, right, okay, so let me, let's get all that straight, hey, how strong join, hey, Hellstrom. A lot of times when I see people waving, some people I know, you know what I mean? But I don't really like to call people out like that because I, well, I guess they put themselves out there so they, <laughs> they don't know. But even when I'm, I'm doing these commentaries or these, these tirades, right, I don't, sometimes I don't say people's names because I don't, man, well, sometimes I don't know what their agenda is, right? But most of the time, it's like, you know who you are, 
and if, 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 if you're a name that's well known or something like that, then people should be looking you up. In other words, I insist that you should be doing your own research. Because to me, when internet first came along, when we, we had doing this, we had uh, everybody, anybody could post. So we had, we call us citizen journalists right now. But I think the journalist thing is played out. When I say played out, I shouldn't say it that way. But I think we, 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 are, we, are, we are researchers. Everybody has to do research. I mean, deep research, you know? You gotta be like a, you gotta be like a, you know, a, 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 like an academic research. Like I gotta, I'll do that another time. But you got to be like an academic researcher, really between the lines, that, 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 a real one, you know, like, like, like Dr. Joe Horn kind of researcher. You see what I'm saying? You got to do, 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 You can't just be, oh, you take one source and then you say blah, 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 blah. That's not how it goes. You got to do some work, right? Because most people are lazy. They'll take somebody's commentary and then they'll comment on the commentary, not bringing any new insight into the commentary, just making, which is basically a waste of time. I shouldn't say that. It's, it, Ms. Neely Fuller Jr. says basically, you have, we have time and energy. That's a physics thing too. But if you spend your time reacting to this, which is reacting to that, which is reacting to that, you're lost in the source. Talk about rabbit holes. I mean, I don't know what that's, that's like a spiral to nowhere, you know? So uh, uh, when you find a point, you know, try to research that, that particular point and then come up with something, I don't say new, but another angle on that at least, you know what I mean? But don't just repeat, you know? No, no, that's, that's all I want to say with that. Okay, so that, that, that's the whole thing about reparations. I've made up my mind because of this last week with the Democrat National Convention, and you know, same old stuff, was rinse, wash, repeat, whatever it is. I usually do these commentaries so on Mondays. It's about, uh, today is Friday, so it's usually a week wrap-up, which is I'm wrapping up because of what happened on, on Tuesday. They cut me off. Uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday is like whatever comes into my head. Monday is about me. Tuesday is supposed to be about U.S. politics. I'm going to get back to that in a second. Wednesday is world politics, and Thursday is my favorite audio drama, right? Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do on Tuesdays now, because I do have a campaign going. I know you don't know it, but I got a campaign. So on Tuesdays, I'm really going to be talking about my campaign up until, until was it was the 5th of November, or whatever. Up until that point, you know, I'll be talking about my campaign. And, and it's, 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 I, I have a, a other ideas about it, so it's, it's going to be really interesting. But the campaign really is a, it's a write-in campaign. Be right in uh, because you know I ain't going for the Democrat, I ain't going for Republican, I ain't going for. I know Jill. If those people want to boost up the Green Party and do the Jill Stein, fine, right? I don't know what Cornell's doing, right? Uh, 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 Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I don't know what he's doing these days, but I'm not into any of them because for me, they're all doing the. They either they want a, a, a bigger piece of the same pie, which they got to address, or. Uh, or they want to co-op, or they, they want to add ingredients to the pie that's, that's, that's detrimental to, you know, uh, let's call it poisonous ingredients to the pie that's detrimental, de detrimental to us, right? So uh, I have another way of doing it. I do the I do a writing reparations, and uh, but that's only, it's, it's, a, it's a research thing, but it's going to morph into something else. I have a reason for this. But uh, just to say right now, when you do write in reparations when you're on your ballot, because you can write it, you can start by practicing now. In other words, when you get any form and they ask for comments at the end, no matter what it is, you, know, you could be your shopping thing and then they ask for a survey, then they ask comments at the end, just write in reparations. I want you to get used to writing the word reparations because come election time and you get those ballots, are you going to be writing reparations someplace on that ballot? Okay? All right. Just to give you a full warning. <laughs> full warning. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, it's a uh, full strategy. Okay? Okay. So got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Take care.